hosting from two different cities tonight, but the technology is so great, you are never going to be able to tell the difference. It's going to be smooth sailing. You won't even notice. <laughs> oh, I've missed you, my love. Normally, this room is full of celebrities, but tonight, our audience on both coasts is made up of smoking hot first responders and essential workers. I wish I could hear. As you can see, we unfortunately have a bad connection. We apologize for that technical problem. He did me die. He did me die. He did me die. He did me die. Am I on? Is this on? Is this on? All right, cool. Can you hear me now? Oh my God. Oh, great. Okay. Um. Uh, wow. Uh, first of all, thank you, my fellow nominees, for your beautiful, beautiful movies. I am speechless. Um, <laughs> would say something beautiful, something inspiring, something that would amplify that little voice inside of all of us that tells you you can, that tells you to keep going. Stories, they really, they really can change people. But there's a story we've been afraid to see and hear about ourselves in this industry. The story about which voices we respect and elevate and which we tune out. The Hollywood Foreign Press Association is made up of around 90 international no black journalists. Um, thank you to the all white Hollywood Foreign Press. Um, I've got to say this movie couldn't have been possible without my co-star, a fresh new talent who came from nowhere and turned out to be a comedy genius. I'm talking, of course, about Rudy Giuliani. Donald Trump is contesting the result. Um, He's claiming that a lot of dead people voted, which is a very rude thing to say about the HFPA. 